Welcome, this is Zan with Vipro Products. This is Revit Tips and Tricks number 17 and number 18. Tip number 17 is how to use the filter tool to turn on and off infill walls when you demolish an object. Tip number 18 is how to use the overhead line work tool for creating things such as a roof line. Heading over to the plan view, you can see I have a wall here and I have a door that's been demolished. I'm going to create a new door and place it in this wall and you'll see it'll be placed accordingly. If I use the demolish command which is located in the modify tab geometry panel and I demolish this door it automatically creates this segment of wall here that's an infill wall. I can if I want to put here under comments say infill and if I do this I can create a filter called wall infill or if I need to I can click edit and go to wall infill and you'll see it is a filter that looks at walls where it's comment equals infill because I have that filter created and placed I can place a check mark to display that data or uncheck it to not display that data. Now you'll see that the infill disappears. The next tip is the overhead line work tool for roof lines. Heading back to level one, I have a round building here and if I go to the roof plan you'll see there's a conical roof and I want to be able to create that circle that has dash line work on level one here. If I switch my underlay to roof, I can start to see very lightly that roof. If I head over to the modify tab of the ribbon and head over to the view panel, there is a line work command. Start the command and change the line style to overhead. Then pick the two arcs that act as the roof line finish the command you'll, you'll notice you'll have the dash line work. Turn off your underlay and you can see what happens. If I go to the roof plan and I decide to change that design you will notice that back in the level one plan view that line work holds with the new design. And that is the Revit tips and tricks for tip number 17 and number 18.